Praise be Jesus and Mary, now and forever. Well, the Father himself loves you because you have loved me. These words were spoken by our Lord as he and the apostles were walking towards the agony of the garden, as they were walking towards the garden of Gethsemane, when he gave to his apostles and through them to all of us the great commandment of love, as it is called, that we must love God as he has already and does still love us. And that love must be so intense we are living, sorry, willing to give up our lives for it. Today, the Franciscan Order celebrates St. Ignatius of Lacona, who came from the island of Sardinia, sorry, yes, the island of Sardinia, just to the west of the coast of Italy, in the Mediterranean. He was a Capuchin, he was a lay brother, and who served as quester for his friary. Living a very simple and a very holy life, a life given simply to the love of God, and out of that love to the love of all of his neighbors, of all of those people to whom he approached, whom he approached. A simple life of humility, of innocence, of love, love for God. And that brought him to the altars. And you see, that's the same for all of us. No matter what our state in life, we too must love God so that we, even in all humility, in all innocence, and we should practice that. That's what our Lord means when he speaks of being like the little child. That's exactly what he's speaking of. You see, all of the great things that occur on earth, we don't do them ourselves. We can't do anything of good without the grace of God. God does it through us. Right? That's what we must always remind ourselves. God is working through us. God so loves us. He gave his own son to save us. Right? And a, tenth, a love for all of us, so intense that he, he would suffer the cross and die for that love, for the love of us. We too must love him in return just by leading a, little, a simple, holy life. That's all that matters. And such that on one occasion, it was St. Bonaventure that told a, wo a widow who came to him, or a woman anyways, who came to him, what must I do to love God? Just be a simple holy woman. You know, you can love God even more than the highest theologian. Right? St. Bonaventure is one of the two church's two primary theologians. Right? And the woman went out and proclaimed to everyone, oh, I can, you can love more than St. Bonaventure, Brother Bonaventure. You can love God more. All of us are capable. Are we willing to do it, to love God, no matter what the trial, no matter how much difficulty? Are we willing to love God as God so loves us in return? Praise be Jesus and Mary, now and forever.